What's going on everybody? Welcome to my review of the McLeod RST Twin Disc Clutch in my 2014 Mustang. Uh, I'm gonna go over some of the pros and cons of this clutch. All right, so I'd say the, the McLeod RST is, uh, it's a great clutch. It's, uh, it's a twin disc clutch, so it doesn't have helper springs on the discs. So it has two separate organic, whoa, pull out in front of me, buddy, um, discs. Um, I had this di this clutch set up um, when my car was naturally aspirated and I had the MT82 transmission. Um, I since have put a Tremec T56 Magnum XL transmission in this car and so I had to convert the uh, clutch disc over to a 26 spline is the MT82 takes a 23 spline clutch so but same clutch and I will say that it holds the power <laughs> Sixty at the crank right now, and it uh, it holds the power for sure. The clutch pedal itself is actually lighter with the McLeod RST than it was stock from the factory. Um, it takes almost no effort to push the clutch in, which is which is awesome if you daily drive your car and you get caught in traffic. It's just um, it's it's definitely nice. Uh, I was in a I think it was a 2012 GT500 that my buddy Roger installed a clutch on. And uh, I don't know if, I think it was a spec. I don't think it was a twin disc, but man, that sucker was heavy, heavy. Um, that would be annoying. And I'm a pretty big guy and, um, you know, I don't have chicken legs. My calves, maybe they're one bodybuilder once told me I had legs like a sandpiper. But uh, he actually said, you got legs like a sandpiper. Um, but uh, <laughs> there was super heavy clutch. I just don't see the, the need for that. You know, if you ever daily drive your car, I do have a daily, but I do drive this one a lot too. And uh, in stop and go traffic, those heavy clutches, you know, they get annoying. Um, you know, and that's one great thing about the McLeod RST is, the clutch pedal is light. It's almost weird because the clutch pedal is so light in this, but it, it holds a, a, a ton of power. Um, again, I've never felt it slip. It just um, can drop the hammer, spin the wheels, whatever, and go to the wood on it, no matter what gear, and it, it holds. Um, I've felt the supercharger belt slip um, before, but uh, not the clutch. So what's the con? Well, the major drawback, the, the one negative to this clutch is it's noisy. It is super noisy. It <laughs> thing makes a racket. It rattles. Um, it, uh, it just makes all kinds of noise. gear right around 40 miles an hour and it's I'm um, just under 2,000 rpm <sighs> this thing shakes the car I mean it sounds like the car is gonna come apart um, that's when it's it's definitely the worst but once you're over 2,000 rpms you're cruising it's fine no big deal <sighs> and I don't mind NVH um, I don't think I have a soft bushing left on this car. It's all Heim joints. Um, I have a Watts, Cortex Racing Watts link. Um, all Heim joints, Cortex Racing uh, torque arm. Um, that does have a, a rubber um, bushing um, pretty much right underneath me, underneath the car here. Um, lower control arms, Heim joints, at least on one end. Um, they're the uh, JNM Extreme Duty. But, um, and then also having the Tremec transmission 
it's a direct mount shifter so my shifter goes directly into the tail section of this transmission which is great it's an awesome transmission there's no lockouts but uh, that's another thing I'm geared really tall so if I I have 331s in the back and my transmission is the, the Tremex ge geared way higher than the MT82 and I'm thinking if I I have 331s in the back so if I do maybe 355s maybe when I'm cruising because when I'm cruising in traffic rush hour traffic in the morning I get stuck at that right around that 40 mile per hour mark and you know I don't want to sit there and keep revving the motor you know cruising in third at you know higher rpm so maybe if i drop the gears down just a touch in the back it'll be perfect for stop and go traffic but at the end of the day who gives a rat's ass another thing if you push the clutch pedal in at a light if it's clanking you push it in it stops you let it out it'll start going again but now right now it was clanking when i was coming to a stop now it's perfectly quiet so i don't know it just does whatever the hell it wants to do i can hear it a little bit now starting up starting to act up i just think it really it wants to go fast this clutch wants to be beat on a little bit and that's fine with me um i drive my car I don't beat the monkey piss out of it. And my car is noisy as it is. I get that. Um, the exhaust is obnoxiously loud. Um, I'm running an off-road X-pipe with uh, Roush axle backs, and it's uh, it's loud. It is super loud. Um, and actually, I noticed the difference when I first lowered my car. It was one of the first mods I did, of course, like every you know um, overgrown adolescent is put the exhaust on it. And when I lowered the car, it, it was louder. I just or it seemed louder. I think the exhaust noise was bouncing off the ground just because I was closer to the ground. I don't know. It is just damn noisy. Super noisy. Super noisy. I love it because when I pull up at a light and you hear my car kind of clanking, sounds like a jalopy. People look at me like, what the hell's wrong with your car, dude? Nothing. I don't want it like that. I don't want it noisy. <laughs> Rattly. But when you're cruising along, um, it's not bad. You may hear that, that incredible, horrendous gear whine I have going in the back. That's uh, courtesy of one of the speed shops here, one of the more well-known ones in Georgia. Um, I did a gear swap and also put an Eaton True Track differential in uh, the rear end, and right after they were finished, um, I won't go into all the details anyway. When I got home, well, I noticed on the way home, um, and right after I test drove it there, the, the gear whine sound it just. It's really not that bad. It's only when you're partially on the throttle. But uh, anyway, when I got home, all of my differential, my gear gear fluid was not in my differential. It was on my garage floor and it leaked out. So I took it back. They had stripped the drain plug apparently and um, yeah, fixed that. But the gear wine was still, you know, obviously they didn't fix the gear wine. Um, so I put my, uh, 331s back in, had them do that. No difference, still horrendous gear whining. You can hear the backlash, you know, that clank. Um, and I'm gonna need to do something about it because I know I'm tearing these gears up with that much play in it. Uh, can't be good, but uh, I don't know. Maybe take it to Southern Gear. Anyone in Georgia know a good place to, good shop that does gear swaps? 
I met some guys at Caffeine and Octane. They told me a uh, quarter mile Mustang, uh, a bunch of really cool guys. Uh, I might hit them up. They're up a little further up, I think 985 um, north of Atlanta. Um, but I don't care where I go as long as they do good work. They don't rip me off and jack my car up. It's amazing how you drop your car off and pay good money to actually have someone screw it up. So what's my verdict on the McLeod clutch? Um, I mean, overall it's a thumbs up, but I guess it depends on what you're trying to do. If you're building a, it's definitely, the twin discs are overkill if your car is naturally aspirated and you're, you know, 400, 450 at the wheels kind of thing. Um, you, you probably want to go a different route. Um, the, the Mantic clutches look amazing, um, but they're, they're re ridiculously expensive. But anyway, I think um, it depends on what you're trying to do. If you're only worried about performance and your clutch holding and a light pedal, then for sure go with the McLeod RST. It's a great clutch, it holds the power. Um, it's just gonna make a little bit of noise. Maybe a lot of noise depending on your, your threshold.